Welcome to part 2 of me trying to explain every single element on a periodic table. In this video, I will continue from neon and go over elements 11 to 20, so from sodium to calcium. Starting off with sodium, a very soft metal that reacts violently with water. Most of us know sodium as sodium chloride, which is table salt and a salt used for icy roads in the winter, or as sodium carbonate, which is baking soda. Liquid sodium exchanges heat in nuclear reactors, while sodium vapor is used in street lamps to produce a bright yellowish light. Our body also needs sodium, notably to maintain water levels and fire neuron signals through sodium ion channels. Next, we have magnesium, a light metal that burns brightly if exposed to air. Therefore, it is often used in fireworks and flares. It is less dense than aluminium, but when alloyed together, it gives the alloy the properties of being lightweight, sturdy, and easily malleable. For this reason, it is often used in many everyday objects such as bicycles, cameras, laptops, power tools, and even airplanes. This element is also essential for life, as photosynthesis via chlorophyll and the activity of many enzymes will not be possible without magnesium. Next, we have aluminium, a very well-known metal that is light yet strong, and it is the most abundant metal on Earth's crust. Its most notable properties are that it is very resistant to corrosion, and is the second most malleable metal, which means that it can be easily made into different shapes and forms. Those properties make aluminium an excellent metal for lightweight but sturdy objects such as cooking utensils, cans, frames, machine parts, and used as a coating to make sure other metals don't corrode. Next we have silicon, a very versatile metalloid that is most well known for its use in semiconductors, which are essential to computer chips and electronics. However, not only is silicon useful in that industry, it is also used to make many building materials such as glass, bricks, and concrete, because they are made from silicon dioxide, which we know as just ordinary sand. Silicon is also important for silicone, which can be made into silicone oil as a lubricant or into silicon rubber as a waterproof material. Next we have phosphorus, which is a non-metal that's flammable when exposed to air, which is why you see phosphorus strips alongside your matchboxes to light your matches. Some other notable uses of phosphorus include calcium phosphate, which is used to make china in detergents, and also ammonium phosphate, which is a key ingredient for fertilizer. Phosphorus is also another essential element for life, as it makes up our bones and teeth, the backbone of DNA, and also plays a crucial part in transferring energy through ATP. Next, we have sulfur, which is a yellow and brittle nonmetal that is also important for manufacturing. It's the ingredient for gunpowder, pesticides, and rubber, just to name a few. But by far, the most notable use of sulfur is in sulfuric acid, which is an ingredient for creating fertilizers, lead acid batteries, and explosives. We also need sulfur to live, as it is part of two essential amino acids to produce proteins. Next, we have chlorine, which is a toxic yellow-green gas known for its nostalgic swimming pool smell and, of course, table salt. Chlorine is very efficient at killing bacteria, so that's why we use chlorine as a disinfectant or to treat drinking water. It is also used industrially to make paper, plastic, paint, and many other daily objects. Biologically, chlorine is also essential as it helps to balance bodily fluids, keeping our blood pressure, blood volume, and pH in check. Additionally, our stomach acid also contains chlorine, in the form of hydrochloric acid, to help us digest food. Next, we have argon, which is a colorless, unreactive noble gas that makes up 0.9% of our atmosphere, the third most abundant gas right after nitrogen and oxygen. Its most common use is in fluorescent tubes and light bulbs to prevent corrosion inside the bulb. It is also used in arc welding, which is the joining of metals through heat created by electricity, as sort of like an atmosphere shield. Next, we have potassium, which is a soft silver metal most notably found in bananas. Potassium is essential to life as it is responsible for neuron signals and found in many fruits and veggies. Potassium also forms many important compounds, such as potassium chloride as an ingredient for fertilizers, potassium hydroxide as an ingredient for soaps and detergents, and potassium carbonate as an ingredient for glass. Lastly, we have calcium, which is yet another soft metal that is important biologically. Calcium is the main component of bones and teeth, as well as shells for animals such as crabs and shrimp in the form of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is found in limestones, marbles, and other rocks that can be used as an ingredient for white paint, toothpaste, and cleaning powder. 
Calcium can also be used to refine and prepare certain metals, such as uranium. And that concludes our second video on explaining every known element on the periodic table. I hope that you found this video interesting and learned something new, especially those elements that are essential to life, such as potassium and magnesium. Thank you all for watching.